It's the biggest one year spike in kid substance abuse in 44 years. We wouldn't grab a cigarette, don't grab an e-cig in that age group. This is not for teenagers. One in five high school seniors have vaped nicotine in the last month. That's nearly double the number from last year. Something ABC's chief medical correspondent, Dr. Jen Ashton, says could have long-term effects on this generation. This is a time when the brain is developing. We don't have long-term data about what these chemicals do to lungs, mouth, and the brains of developing children. A UCFS study looked at teenagers who vape and found a laundry list of dangerous chemicals in their bodies, many of them associated with an increased risk of cancer and lung disease. Dr. Ashton says parents should know what these devices look like and be on the lookout for signs of nicotine addiction in their kids. Difficulty <laughs> concentrating, increased weight gain, sleep disturbance, irritability, they really need to seek medical attention then to help them with that nicotine dependence and addiction. Dr. Ashton also says that many teens have the misconception that e-cigarettes are safe or at least safer than smoking, but she emphasizes that is not the case. In addition to those dangerous chemicals found in e-cigs, doctors also say using them during those critical years of development when you're a teen can make you more likely to become an addict as an adult. Maggie Verley, ABC News, New York. I'm so sorry, I was looking at you and